Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live once again from the city of Las Vegas. Last night we slept over there in New York, New York. Tonight we decided to move across the street. We're going to be staying in Excalibur, the medieval castle themed casino and hotel here in Las Vegas. And you know, having a, a, a great time here with this Las Vegas adventure, and kind of how I've been I've been doing this is, um, you know, I, I try to film my hotel and and kind of the events of the day, but also while I'm out here, I'm filming um, larger things as well. Like I some museums, some attractions, I feel deserve their own dedicated video. So some of those I am filming and setting aside. I'm going to be releasing those at the end of the trip but while we're traveling i did want to keep up with you guys kind of show you what i'm eating where i'm staying what i'm doing and some of the the smaller attractions and not when i say smaller i don't mean lesser but just uh, attractions that maybe could not fill up a whole video while well, there's other attractions that i want to give an entire video to to show in detail show the minutia um i'll show the smaller attractions uh, on these on these daily vlog videos that I'm uploading while I'm at my trip so I'm filming all day filming the vlog and then filming other videos and it's really really kind of intense I promise you and then uh, at night uh, checking into a new hotel and uploading editing and that sort of thing so non-stop no sleep no rest for the wicked I'm not wicked though no rest no rest for the weary that's more uh, more fitting in this particular situation so yeah let's check out Excalibur the lovely glow of the Excalibur Casino and Hotel. You see the moat there. There's like a little hut. I don't know who lives in that hut, if there's some sort of gremlin or... Actually, probably there's a bridge right there, so it probably belong to a troll, right? It's trolls who live under bridges. So, uh, yeah, where's the troll? A nice little moving walkway here. I like how you can walk while you're on a moving walkway and walk incredibly fast. This guy right here is walking very fast. I can't even catch up with him, even with the assistance of the walkway. Pretty cool, the castle theming continues on into the inside, into the casino. These elevators are actually really confusing because you have to get on the right elevator to go to the right floor. I just got in the elevator across the hallway, but that only goes up to floor 18. Don't, I don't understand. Am I actually moving? I don't think I'm moving. 25, there we go. Are we moving? Oh, I think we just started moving. Maybe not. It still says lobby, but I can feel an upward trajectory. We're definitely moving. You guys can feel that, can't you? Probably not. Oh, there we go. 18. 19, yeah, I, I don't understand the dual elevators why only one can go to 18 and one goes to the higher floors. There's probably some reason, or maybe not. Maybe there's no reason whatsoever. But here we are, floor 25. Another long Vegas hallway. I do like the lion seal, the medieval lion seal on the carpet, as well as on the hotel door. So uh, let's do our uh, room reveal here. He works. All right. Should probably probably hit the lights. Sometimes hotel rooms are so dark. Oh, okay. Um, very, very, um, very plain. I'd say. Um, 
picture on the wall. That doesn't have much to do with medieval things. I don't think so. Oh, this one's a little better. That's a little, uh, a little more uh, theme worthy. Let's, uh, let's see the bed. Let's check these pillows. Yeah, they're, they're all right. Of course, way better than the golden nugget, but, uh, I'd say the ones, pillows at the, uh, or the New York, New York were a lot, a lot better. Got a little sitting area there. Fancy metal ice bucket. And okay, these I think these are these are owned by the same company that owns New York, New York. I think they're all owned by the MGM. So they gave us a little greeting packet that has uh, has a mask in it, as well as some hand sanitizer. So that's uh, that's nice. And we'll do the bathroom check. All right. This one we have a walk-in shower. Very nice. And uh, okay, there's some medieval theming there. That counts. That's a little shield. And uh, toilet check. Uh, not too much negative. Not too much negative matter in there. Gave us an extra roll of toilet paper, that's always a plus. Hey guys, let's check these towels. Let's see if these towels are any good there. Like hotel towels that get washed so much that they get so thin. So yeah, that, oh, that is a very, that's a very thin towel. It's not gonna, might need to use a couple towels to dry off. Almost forgot the most important thing. We need to check our view. We can figure out how the window works. That is not how the window works. Let's see, pull this chain. I don't know which chain to pull. I think we've got the chain, there we go. Let's do the slow reveal here. Oh, got a, okay. That's actually a pretty cool view. Right there we can see the mountains. Oh, look at that. You can see the the freeway there. I can I can spot an In-N-Out burger and uh, look down at the pool over there. So yeah, pretty great view. Um, from the outside, it does look like probably most rooms have a good view here, the way that they're set up. They're set up in a very view-friendly manner. But yeah, look at those. Look at all those cars. See the in and out Burger, the flashing sign there. Some uh, little bits of neon. They have a Dick's Last Resort here in the hotel. Um, I've always thought about maybe eating at one of these places, the Dick's Last Resort. Kind of their gimmick is the, the, the wait staff is incredibly rude to you and insults you and calls you names. But I don't really think I should eat here by myself because the idea of just being a single person here while the waiter calls me names sounds just strange and miserable. <laughs> looks like that uh, elk head there. Looks like people have been hanging their dirty, dirty, filthy, infested masks all over him. <laughs> Interesting though, it looks like they staple money to the bar. And yes, they make everyone wear really stupid hats while they eat. Now, this is experience I'm willing to partake in. I just, like I said, not alone. That's just, yeah, that's just, that sounds terrifying. Look at that lion there nuzzling those uh, t-shirts. I guess this is Dick himself in fiberglass form. Yeah, can you just imagine me sitting there huddled over my food, wearing a giant paper mask while a man calls me names and is mean to me? That just, I don't know. I don't know. Again, maybe if I had a couple people with me, it'd be fun, but just alone, one guy harassing me, that's just paying someone to bully me while I eat. This is the sword in the stone bar, that's really clever. But look at this, look at these piles of gelato. Oh, it's got like the whole fruit on top, it's got a pomegranate, gelato, coconut, watermelon, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Heading down into the arcade, which they call the Fun Dungeon, sounds fun. Now over here is the Tournament of Kings dinner show. 
apparently this is almost like a medieval times like um, show with knights and whatnot. Looks like it's not currently opened, I um, guess because of the, you know, of course, pandemic. See all the little ducks going around in a circle there. I right, try to get that ball in the basket when a dinosaur. Oh! Do I just get that one shot? All right. All right, we have pirate adventure. It's a shooting gallery. So uh, let's shoot that pirate. Let's see. All right, where do we where do we shoot the pirate? Okay. Get the parrot right there. So how do we shoot this big pirate guy? He doesn't have a target on him. Oh, I'm pretty good at this one. There's a guy in the barrel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a pirate in the barrel. Yeah. No way to shoot this guy, I guess. Well, what's in that? What's in that chest right there? Nothing. Okay. Let's see that, get that crab move at least. Bonus round. Let's throw some balls and knock down these no good punks. Oh. Oh man. Okay, okay. Gotta get every single one of them down. Oh! Oh, the ones at the top are, are worth more points. Oh, I'm running out of time. I didn't know I was being timed. No one mentioned anything about any sort of time limit. I'm a hot shot, apparently. Sadly, it looks like their whack a mole machine is not in operation. I guess you could still whack them a little bit, but it's just not the same when they're not popping up. Dang, that stinks. whack a -mole's usually one of my favorites. Check out this. All right, we got some of these uh, kids' rides that you know you usually see outside a grocery shop or something. You put a, put a few quarters in and get a little rocking ride, but uh, should I hop aboard these? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say no adults, but it does say that the game room is being monitored by security cameras. Um, I would hate to get evicted from my hotel room for for being a moron. But uh, you know what? We don't have to ride these to have a good time. We can just get them all going at the same time and make them make them dance for us. Yeah, spread that money. Make them dance. Let's get the Batmobile going. There we go. All right. Look at that. This, my friends, this is what Vegas is all about. Oh, the race car loses. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we're racing here. Who's going to win? These were the first two I... Oh, this was... This here, the Falgus Racing Team. This was the first one I uh, started, and it is still going when these other three stopped. We have a surprise winner. I don't know this for sure, but I feel like if I climbed in these ducks, I would immediately be <laughs> dragged out of the casino, but let's uh, take them for a spin anyways. Go Ducks. Go Ducks. Come on. Go Why are they not going? You ducks, did you ducks, did you take my money? Did you take my money, stupid duck? Oh, I gotta, I gotta push the start button. Oh, it's playing my favorite song. Do, 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 do. Oh, this was way more intense of a ride than I anticipated. Not only do the ducks go in a circle, but they rotate as well. What a crazy, what a crazy ride for some very small people. Let's take this carousel here for a spin. Oh, dropped my magic card there. But uh, there we go, start it up. And let's go, guys. Come on, let's go for it. There we go. Got the ducks throw, it's still, still spinning too. But, uh, there we go, we got a, what is this, a horse? An elephant and a fire truck, maybe? No, it's not a fire truck. It's just a, it's a circus car. The traditional whack-a-mole's broken, but I guess they have this 
Minions version still works, so let's smack some Minions. Oh, here they are. Are they gonna come up? Oh. Oh. How did, what is the strategy to whack them all? Is it just be fast and, and whack things? Do they make like puking noises? And... How many rings do I have to get on there? Okay, so I just got of all these ten rings. All I gotta do is get one of them on here. This sounds incredibly easy. All right, I don't know. I don't know if there's any strategy to this other than just tucking a ring and hoping. I guess you want it to keep stay like this way. Wow, this is pathetic. Oh, that was close. Theoretically. I forget how many I've thrown. Oh, so close. Okay. Everyone seems so close, but there's probably there's probably some trick to this. Alright, got three rings left. Surely, surely I'll get one of them. Oh gosh. Alright, alright, alright. Dang. Okay. Final ring. Be really cool if I sunk this. Nope. Let's see if we can win this giant ball. Not that I know how I get it on the airplane, but that's not important here. It's this giant claw. All right. All right, I think we're lined up. Let's drop that claw. Oh, uh, come on, claw. Ah, uh, you're weak. I feel like the claws lack integrity. <laughs> these knights here, these suits of armor lining the walls. There's interesting shows here in Las Vegas. The Australian Bee Gees, which are a tribute to the Bee Gees. <laughs> so they're just an Australian version of the Bee Gees. It's just Bee Gees with an Australian accent and and there's Thunder from Down Under. Are they from Australia too? Yeah, Australia's Thunder from Down Under. There's a bunch of Australian muscle men. <laughs> Why is everything Australian? The store here is just called Lick. I guess they sell lollipops, I think? <laughs> My whole life, I, I've been hearing about Vegas buffets and how glorious they are. But I come here to Vegas during a pandemic and apparently buffets are not to the, uh, not great right now, I guess. Not not the time for buffets, but you know, I, I really feel like buffets will make a triumphant return soon. I hope. So I guess the buffet is closed. Maybe we'll give this a try. The Buca di Bipa Italian restaurant. Got myself some chicken parmesan, a big side of spaghetti. Smells pretty good. It is good though. I haven't had Italian food in a, in a while, so it's tasty. Get a little side of spaghetti here. Very good. Came back up to the hotel room and do the uh, the view at night. I feel is rather stunning. But here we have another hotel mystery. Look what I found over here. There is a key, and then one of these things. I don't know what you call this, but I, it, what this is is this is what you would use um, if like a door gets locked. You can actually open a locked door with that, um, like in a, in a house, you know, somewhere that's low security. So you can actually just like put that in the middle of a doorknob and turn it and the doorknob will open. So someone left that in my room and then this mysterious key, which I'm curious, I don't know what it unlocks. Let's see if it, let's see if it unlocks the, 
this bathroom door because that does have a, have a keyhole in it. But oh, it did! It did. So this is this is the key to the uh, the bathroom. So that means that at some point this bathroom was locked from the inside and someone had to uh, try to open it with a key. I don't know if they were trying to use this thingy to get it open. I don't know why they forgot these and didn't clean them up. But so that means someone was in this bathroom and someone, I mean, I guess theoretically it could have been an accident, but you know, there very well could have been someone trapped in this bathroom, maybe someone passed out unconscious, maybe they had so too much to drink or, you know, God forbid, maybe there was a dead body in the shower. Maybe someone locked the door and then they died and they had to open this up. They had to scrape the corpse out. They said, you make sure you get all that blood. We're renting this room out <laughs> to the carpet bagger tonight. Uh, let's try and see. Is there any blood, any, any vomit expelled from the body? I don't know. I don't see any signs of a murder, but I don't know. How often do you think they find um, things like that in Las Vegas? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it happens, right? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for, for joining me. I hope you guys stick around for tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Make sure you get a update every time a new video goes live and if you have time check out some of my older videos i've been to the 48 continental united states and filmed roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun stuff in every single one if you would like to help support this channel consider donating to patreon three dollars or more we'll get you a postcard once a month also selling uh, some goodies in the etsy shop right now all that stuff really helps keep this channel afloat, helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. So until tomorrow morning, this one is in.